also. UNM needs to take a deep breath and do it the proper way. UNM may have to revote on the cuts for sports teams. Good evening. Today, Attorney General Hector Baldetas told UNM not so fast. In a letter to the university, the AG is ordering the Board of Regents to meet again to revote on cutting sports. News 13's Marissa Lucetto is live at the university with the problems he has with how the vote was taken. Marissa. Oh, Jess, the AG called last month's vote invalid. Now, the people who originally filed the complaints with the AG's office say this decision has bought coaches and people like student athletes more time to fight for these programs. A packed crowd, signs in protest, and plea after plea from student athletes. You're cutting the community. You guys are about to cut a sport that has a 4.0 GPA. None of that mattered at the July 19th UNM Board of Regents special meeting. It was pretty clear that the decision was already made by, um, by the Regents. That day, the Regents unanimously voted to cut men's soccer, the men and women's ski teams, and beach volleyball, a significant decision that Albuquerque attorney Mia Touche says was made with one, not enough notice to the public, and two, was predetermined, especially when board members made comments like this one. From my perspective, I think we've done the right thing here. Before even putting the decision up to vote. That's what led to Shea and another New Mexico attorney to file complaints with the Attorney General's office. Today, the AG sent UNM a letter ruling the Board of Regents did in fact violate the Open Meetings Act. He says the meeting agenda was misleading and broad, saying there would be, quote, discussion and action on athletics, when in fact they were cutting sports to save money. UNM needs to take a deep breath and do it the proper way. Um, involve the public truly involve the public in this decision. The AG ruled the board's vote that day is invalid. Soccer coach Jeremy Fishbein says he hopes now that the Regents will have a second go around that they'll make a different decision. The greatest leaders are able to uh, to say hey I, I, I look at things a little bit differently now and in, in some ways, this is probably a real blessing that they, that they get to think about things and, and really analyze it at a little bit of a deeper level. And UNM says it's reviewing the AG's letter to see what their next step will in fact be. We also reached out to the Board of Regents for comment. We did not hear back. Back to you, Jess. All right. Thank you, Marissa. According to the AG, the board should hold a new meeting and put the decision to cut sports up to a vote again all within 15 days.